you mentioned potassium and, and nitrogen utilization. I, I guess let's let's uh, use that to segue maybe into a nitrogen conversation, which I'm sure will segue into a sulfur one as well. But uh, mm -hmm. can you can you just speak a, a little bit more about what goes on and 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 how that happens with the you know proper potassium nutrition uh, helping out your your nitrogen utilization? Yeah. So. When we look at when we look at nitrogen management, um, or the comment that I made around nitrogen uh, um, efficiency, um, potassium is is not directly involved in protein. Uh, it's not a constituent of protein. But what it is involved in is the capacity of a plant to metabolize it and then mobilize it, move it around. Um, so if we think of where all the actions happening, uh, photosynthesis and the leaf tissues, um, you know, and the stems, and we've got this this factory of, of, of stuff being made. We'll just call it stuff. Um, and, and we have to make it into something else because if we accumulate too much of, let's say, nitrogen in the plant um, and it's not metabolized into amino acids and, and proteins quick enough, it can become toxic. So potassium is really good at shunting and moving things around and, uh, and to help keep that, that nutrient from becoming toxic in, the, toxic in the plant. It also helps incorporate those amino acids into proteins and structures so potassium as we increase the concentration of potassium in a plant we're increasing the capacity of the plant to utilize the nitrogen more efficiently so it's it's okay. it's com composed into proteins a lot faster and uh, and we have less loss uh, of that nitrogen not being utilized so that's one aspect now we can slip this into um, we need sulfur in this conversation because sulfur helps also increase nitrogen use efficiency and sulfur is also a constituent of amino acids so it is also a component of proteins itself physically so if we're going to talk about proteins and we're going to talk about nitrogen use efficiency it's got to include potassium and it's got to include sulfur yeah i'm glad you mentioned that mark because talking protein i have had discussions on that and just the importance of potassium as well because it's always nitrogen and sulfur so I'm glad that you touched on, you know, maybe potassium isn't absolutely directly involved, but it is so important for it. 